Hello and welcome to Matt Parker's Maths Puzzles. I'm Matt Parker and the Maths Puzzle this time is the Prime Pairs Puzzle. So ages ago, literally years ago, I had a puzzle where you had to arrange all the numbers from 1 to 16 such that if you add any two of them together, you get a square number as the result. And I put it in my book, Things to Make and Do in the Fourth Dimension, and spoiler, there's the answer, right? So that is one to 16 arranged such that if you add any pair of these, so if you add 12 to 13, you get 25, that's a square number. 13 add three, you get 16, that's a square number. Nine, 16, 25, so on. Right, if you pick any pair, you always get a square result. And we had a lot of fun investigating that. To this day, people still send me in attempts to prove how far you can extend the biggest number. So the biggest number here is 16, and it's one including all the numbers up to 16. And the question is, for what values of the biggest value will this still work? I mean, that's a question. It's not the puzzle for this week. The puzzle this time is if you just start with the numbers one through nine, can you arrange them such that every pair gives you a prime number? So this is the prime pairs and it doesn't work here. Of course, it might work for some of them. So uh, five add six, that'll give you 11. That's a prime. But if you add uh, seven to eight, you're gonna get 15 that's not a prime. So this is not a solution. You've got to work out a solution. And it would have been harder if I'd set a bigger maximum number instead of nine. It does work if you set it to 12. In fact, I think there are two solutions if you go all the way from one to 12, but we figured we would do uh, one to nine. So that's the submittable part of the puzzle this time. If you go on to the website, uh, the Think Mass Puzzle website, you will see that we've set up, or rather I say we, Oliver, has set up a, oh, it's directly above me, it's up there. Uh, there we go, a uh, submittable form. So don't put them in that order. That's not gonna work. You wanna put them in an order where each pair will give you a prime. We did realize that if you use this on a mobile, you, um, uh, have a problem now where you can be very careful that if it wraps around, you're still doing them left to right as if you were reading it. So if you're on a mobile and it wraps around, it's, it works exactly the way you think it um, should work. So uh, do give it a go. One of the reasons why I picked one to nine instead of a more difficult one is I know a lot of people are gonna write computer code to work this out, but if you did Zoe Griffith's puzzle last time and you quite enjoy arranging cards, you can just grab the cards from one to nine and, oh sorry, nine, and then have a bit of fun shuffling them around to try and work it out. So I want to have a submittable part of the puzzle where you can just do it manually. And in my experience, solving these sorts of puzzles manually is a lot of fun. I really like them. It, it, I don't, know, I, I don't know, for me, it's kind of like a Sudoku. I, that's, but the rules aren't as, like a bit like a cryptic crossword. It feels very in, not in jokey, but you've got to know all the tricks and whatever. Whereas this is just good mathematical fun to try and arrange numbers such that all the pairs give you a result. And there is some interesting mathematics in terms of what you're actually trying to find. So if you have got a copy of my book, Things to Make and Do, it's in there. If not, have a go. I'm sure people will send in some interesting maths that they come across. As always, send that in to uh, Matt plus puzzles at standupmaths.com and uh, Deanne uh, will help me go through it all and see if we can find some interesting maths that people send in, as well as ways of looking at the solutions. You can try to extend the problem in different ways. So how many solutions are there? for one to nine, for which values of n, if you go from one to n, is there a solution? And also, I always do it just with pairs. Could you do it in triples? I don't know, it just occurred to me then. Maybe it's trivial, maybe it's impossible. I haven't looked into it. That's your job. Stop expecting me to do all the work. So have some fun, send in whatever you get. Uh, and as always, I'll see you with the solution and our favorite bits of what gets sent in Friday next week. Have fun.